Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Alex, the architect for back ramp and in today's video we're continuing our Flutter and Parse series of videos with our Queries sub-series. So one of the most common problems with REST API calls is overfetching. Overfetching is when you retrieve data that you're not, that you're not going to use at any moment. And it's really bad because you make a bigger payload, you have to transit that payload to the devices, and you have to hold that data in memory, which consumes more memory, more time, and more uh, internet plan to actually retrieve everything, and you're not going to use at any time, so it's totally useless. But Parse got you covered with a few methods to allow you to select explicitly what data you're going to need and it makes everything runs faster and more smoothly. So here I have my app running in our app inside back for app and as you can see I have multiple properties over here so object ID, created that, updated that, ACL, done and title but I, but I could have much more. I could have for instance a GPS location of those users, I could have their names, I could have a, an infinity of uh, other properties and let's say I'm only interested in the done and the title and would like to ignore all the other uh, properties to make it uh, run smoother and faster uh, with smaller payloads. So back to my Visual Studio, here I have the query that you used on the last video where we retrieved all the objects with all the properties and to select explicitly which uh, uh, properties I want to retrieve, I, all I have to do is before actually executing the query, I'll do a query to do, which is the object of the query that we created, dot keys to return. And then inside here, I can pass an array where I can type the uh, properties that I'm looking for. In this case, don and title. So don and title. So with this one line of code, I can specifically specifically tell parse to retrieve only those two properties and ignore all the other ones. So if even if I have 100 properties inside a class, for instance, it will only retrieve those two, which makes smaller objects, it's easier to transfer from internet to your devices and uh, uses less memory in your device because you don't have to uh, hold such a complex object and makes everything faster and smoother. But sometimes you have many, many properties and you really don't want to start typing one by one. In this case, we have another method, which is called exclude keys and works quite the same. You can put in here any property that you want and it will retrieve all the properties except for this one here. Uh, you can actually have to pass this as an array as well. Oops. So you could pass on multiple ones and it makes easier to uh, write some code. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I really, really uh, wish you guys use these uh, methods because uh, most problems with uh, REST API calls uh, latency are due to uh, overfetching. So if you use uh, wisely the exclude keys and keys to include, uh, keys to return, you will make your application faster, it will consume less memory and it will end up in a much better experience for your end user. So please use these methods every time you do a parse query. Hope to like this video and hope to see you on the next one of this series soon. See ya, bye bye.